Good morning, Facebook. This is Lori Flickinger coming to you live from Lori's Wellness Loft. And for those of you joining me for the first time, I am a health and life coach and an advanced energy healing practitioner. And my goal is to come on daily to give you little coaching gems that you can start using right away to live a happier, healthier life. So thank you all for joining. I have my little heater on down here because it was chilly when I first came in. So uh, if you are like me, um, we're shut down. We are not currently seeing clients, but I am keeping my promise to all of you. Hello, Donna, how are you? How are you feeling, Donna? I wanna know how everyone is feeling today. Um, so even though we are shut down, I am still going to be coming live daily and giving you little coaching tips and gems. And if there is something that you would like to learn now more than ever, please drop that in the comments below. Um, if you love my videos, please share that, hit that little share button in the corner of your phone and share this to your timeline. But today I wanted to talk about our circumstance, that we are not our circumstance. We cannot control our circumstance, but we can control how we respond to our circumstance. And right now, there is a lot of uncertainty, okay? And I'm not going to argue that. There is definitely uncertainty. People are stressed, people are unsure, and that always causes people not to act in their best right? Hello, Linda. How are you? How are you feeling? Amanda, how are you? And how are you feeling? I hope you're all feeling well. So I figured today what I could do is just come on and give you some tools that you can start using to keep yourself calm, okay? Calm during all of this. <clears throat> and also, if anyone would like a meditation or a little tapping routine at the end of this, let me know by dropping it in the comments below what you would like at the end of this lesson because I would love to bring something to you that you really need today. So please tell me what you need. All right, so we're all jumping on right now. Everybody's home safe, right? So I want everyone to think of this question. What are you bringing to the room? What are you bringing to the conversation? What are you bringing to the call? Okay, and I want you to think about this right now, especially if when the phone is ringing and you're the person on the other end, do you want to pick up that call from you? Are you the voice of reason or are you the doom and gloom? Okay, and I want everybody to remember because listen, guys, I get sucked into it just like you guys do. And I say to myself all the time, I want to be the light. I want to be the inspiration. I want to be that glimmer of hope that can get people through something. So if you know that certain person, hello, M Melissa and Nancy and Debbie, um, that person who, when the phone rings, you're like, oh boy, I don't want to answer this call. Don't be that person. Be a different person. Just for now, because right now we need positivity, positivity more than anything, okay? <clears throat> so I want you to ask yourself, what am I bringing to the room? When I enter a room, when I am on a call, what do I bring? Am I bringing panic? Am I bringing worry? Am I bringing fact? Am I bringing hysteria? Am I bringing laughter? Because we have a choice, guys, of what we can bring to this. Our circumstance is never going to, is not going to change, all right, right now. Right now we are where we are, our circumstance, no matter what it might be. We may be working from home. We may be, we're currently shut down. There are circumstances that you cannot control, but you can always control how you respond to a circumstance, okay? So I want you to think about that. Um, number two, I want you to think about just lifting the mood, the vibration and the energy by changing the channel, okay? If there is something that is going on right now that is uncomfortable, that is making you feel anxious, that's making you feel not good, change the channel. 
Chances are you have the information that you need to proceed right now. There's no sense in beating yourself over the head with this information and making yourself more anxious. Change the channel and focus on something positive. So here's the positive. Is there something that you have wanted to do for a long time but you haven't had the time? Is there a project? Is there a book? Is there a program that's been sitting there and you're like, oh, only if I had the time. Well, look at all this extra time we have now. You know, we have all kinds of time. I personally am doing a 30-day course that I'm learning. I'm not teaching, okay? I'm personally learning a 30-day course. And I'm like, what a perfect opportunity for me to be able to learn something completely new that I wouldn't have had the opportunity to learn if I didn't have this situation. So I'm going to do my best to make this a positive. Um, and the last thing I want to leave you with is do your best work. Okay, I know when people are stressed, it's really hard sometimes to do a good job. But right now, it is imperative that we all show up as the best possible versions of ourselves. That we do the best at our jobs, at parenting, at just humaning. Is that a word, Melissa? Can you um, tell me about that? Just being a damn human being kind, being considerate, being compassionate of the people and where they are, being able to meet people where they are, not saying they're right or wrong. People, If people are freaking out, they're freaking out. Let them be compassionate, be understanding. Don't judge, don't point fingers. If we all come together from this, we are all going to come out of this. This too shall pass. I said it before, I'll say it again, and I don't think we can hear it enough. We will all come out of this. And I know, just like you know, you've been through some trying times in your lifetime. And at the end, you always come out stronger. So <clears throat> let's do a little, because nobody put at the bottom what they wanted, if they wanted a meditation. Um, but I want to do a little tapping demonstration for all of you. And this helps you to uh, strengthen your immune function and calm your nervous system. Drop me some ones if you want to learn this, guys. Give me some hearts, arrows. Let me know you're there. I see people, but I don't know who's here. Okay, so this is energy medicine. This is something that anyone can do. It is safe for anyone. So we're going to start with some tapping points. Amanda, hello. We're doing tapping points. Christy, hello. You got here just in time, girls. So I hope your hands are clean. Please. I just washed mine. We're going to start with, with these three fingers like to make sure you're hitting the right points all right we're going to tap right here on our stomach points and these are meridian points that are going to help stimulate immune function it cannot hurt you it can only help you feel better okay and it also makes you look like you have some blush on look how much younger i just got look <laughs> i just got yes nice christy isn't it gorgeous outside the second points are right below the clavicle. There's a little soft spot here, okay? And you're gonna tap here. These are kidney meridian points. Your kidney points, excuse me, keep your energy moving forward. <clears throat> when there is information overload, people have a tendency to flip their energy backwards and you get confused. It's kind of like when you're walking around the house and you have your pencil in your hand, you're going, where's my pencil, where's my pencil? Okay, and see how I'm getting these little red marks? <clears throat> you want to tap, but not hurt yourself, okay? So this is flipping your energy back forward and really stimulating your immune function. The third tapping point, sternum, right here is your thymus gland. And this one is great. I love teaching this to children because they really relate to this. You know when uh, King Kong, Tarzan, where they're getting ready to go into battle and they hit themselves right here? This is to stimulate your thymus gland, which is for immune function, okay? Next, spleen points. Directly under your underwire, under your bra. If you guys are working from home, you may not have the bra on. I came out, so I'm wearing the bra. So we're going right under here, and it may feel a little sore. If it's sore, this is going to help clean all the ick out of your immune system. Hello, Lisa, how are you? 
Are you still in Florida? Hi, hi, hi. I haven't seen you forever. We're tapping energy medicine points, girlfriend, to try to stimulate, no, to stimulate our immune function. Next, sliding out directly under the underarm, still the same line where the bra strap ends, you're tapping here, okay? Spleen points, great for immune function. Spleen filters out all the junk, physical and emotional junk that you may be processing. Okay, the last thing you want to do to stimulate your immune function is have a nice, healthy boundary between you and the outside world. So what you're going to do is, that, this is called the zip up, it's invisible. The largest line in the front of your body is from your pubic bone all the way up to the top lip. So what you're doing is energetically just strengthening that meridian. You bring it up just like you have a big, big zipper. Turn it. Done. You are strong. You are healthy. You have all the information you need right now. If you need anything else from me, please give me a call. I am taking clients via phone all day until this is over 609-561-LORI if this was helpful please hit that share button if you liked it drop me a one in the comments below if I lost you drop me a two in the comments below and keep letting me know what you want to learn more about over these next 30 days I'm here to help have a good one and I'll talk to you soon